What's up guys, how's it going? I'm back with another video. And we have our first military vehicle to put together and review. This is the Striker M1126. I bought this off of Amazon from a reseller. And all it has on here is F72. So, I guess that's the brand name. It's in a different language of writing. So, I have no idea what any of it says. But, this is what it is going to look like. And again, like I said, the Striker is a lightly armored reconnaissance vehicle. It can hold troops. And there is different variants of it as well. And I'm very excited to see how this comes out. Let's see. So again, it says F27. We have the instruction book. It comes in its own little Ziploc baggie, which is nice. And there is a paper here with some more writing I don't understand. But these are the instructions. Let me grab you guys real quick. Looks very simple. It looks perfect. Shows you outlines and stuff in red where it's going to go. Which is very nice. We'll put those there. And everything else comes in separate little baggies. We have four five baggies and the fifth one has all the wheels it comes with nine wheels wow it comes with a little spare wheel that's good so yeah this is it right here now we are going to build the striker and also Right now, in the second, you will see some footage and pictures, either or, of the striker in real life and what it looks like, and we will compare it in a minute. So, enjoy these next clips. Introduced in early 2000s by General Dynamics Land Systems, the M1128 Stryker Mobile Gun Systems, MGS, is one of 10 variants of the Stryker fleet, which combines versatility, survivability, lethality, and maneuverability to perform a wide range of missions.
What's good guys? So finally finished building the striker. It looks pretty nice. Got some nice little detail. Got some rails, some art armor plating, little fire hydrant, antennas, little supply box right there, tire on top, mounted machine gun. The hatches do open. I knocked the antenna off. But yes, there is the gunner's hatch, the driver's hatch. And, oh, don't mind that part. Those little things pop right off. But, there is also two back hatches for anybody who's riding back. And it is very nice. Has low headlights. The tires, the two, or the four front ones do turn a little bit. And the back has a little bit of a suspension. There's some tools and stuff. Shovel, axe, a fire extinguisher, and the back door actually. But as you can see here, the hatch does open and you can fit some minifigures inside. Now you can take this whole top plate off, but I'd rather not right now. This little armor moves and you can slightly move it. Um, it's somewhat pretty sturdy. I don't want to do a drop test because why would you? Um, it's a little stiff moving, but overall, I think it was pretty good. Again, I got this from Amazon and I will link it down below. F27, I'm guessing is the company. Well, the company's writing is in here, but I'm not quite sure. It was very good for the price. I don't remember the price, but it was very nice and I enjoy it. And I encourage y'all to get out there because and get one because you have all these where you can place different things at other little snap-on hooks and everything you can put any other equipment you have little bags or helmets or whatever so yeah i hope y'all enjoyed that video um there's plenty more to come so i'm excited about that subscribe if you haven't already hit the like button or the thumbs down button if you don't like it and tell me why in the comments down below which i was gonna say leave a comment it's your boy leo Peace.